Bearcats and Bears coming at you right now. All right, Kev, thanks very much. And you're watching ESPN's Champ Week, presented by Principal. And we welcome you to the Phillips 66 Big 12 Championship inside T-Mobile Arena. We bring you quarterfinal number four, the 11 seed Cincinnati taking on the three seed Baylor. And you're watching the Big 12 on ESPN. Let's get you caught up on today, shall we? First game of the day, BYU knocked off by Texas Tech. The Red Raiders advance to the semifinals. Pop Isaacs and company will take on Houston. The Cougars knocking out TCU, holding them to 23% from the floor. And then, of course, the game we just watched, Tame and Lipsy and Iowa State, along with Big Rob Energy, Rob Jones defeating Kansas State 76-57. And Iowa State awaiting the winner of this game right here between Baylor and Cincinnati. And we welcome you courtside, John Jambi and Fran Fraschilla. Chris Budden will join us coming up. This is a Baylor team that is getting hot at the right time. They are talented, and they lean on some young players, including one of the best freshmen in the country in Jacoby Walter. Yep, uh, Scott Drew's had a plethora of great freshmen. Jacoby Walter right there, leading scorer this year for the Bears. Opened his career with 28 against Auburn. Been rock solid ever since. Athletic, skilled. Plays D, plays O, a great teammate, and gets it done. And for more on Jacoby Walter, here's Chris Button. Yes, Jacoby Walter, one of the latest in a long line of standout freshmen to end up playing for Scott Drew. And you look at the previous ones, they were all one and done, ending up in an out uh, standout in the NBA. Ask Scott Drew how the top talent ends up in Waco. Staff does a great job identifying people that are not only talented but fit our culture and our university. Eve Macy the dunk, hi the women and children. I choose better because of the relationship I have with the coaches. I can talk to them about anything, not only about basketball. To Walter for three and he drains it. When I came on my visit, everybody treated me like family. So I just knew it was just the right choice for me just to grow as a person and a ball player. Scott Drew said he's had his eye on Jacoby Walter for many, many years. He goes, I saw him back in the seventh grade when he was six foot. I'm just glad that he's grown several inches since then. <laughs> yeah, Jacoby Walter mentioned a guy who gets to the line, 130 free throws made. Only Tyler Perry of Kansas State has made more. Meanwhile, on the Cincinnati side, they've won two games in this tourney, Brand, and one of the things they've done is leaned on a number of different scores, whether it's Skillings or Day Day Thomas or Lukosius. Yeah, no question. All three of those players, John, have had season highs in this tournament. Lukosius dropped 31 against West Virginia. Day Day Thomas 29 against West Virginia. Last night we saw Daniel Skillings, for the third time this season, dropped 25. You had a peek there at Wes Miller as he will go up against the Baylor Bears. And Scott Drew's team, again, 22-9. and nine. They won 11-7 and seven in the regular year. Cincinnati, meanwhile, at 20-13, and 13, they went 7-11. and 11. BC wins the tip, Baylor basketball, and it'll be Ray J. Dennis to control. Very steady at the point. 